Hello friends, my name is Basant. This is my second chapter on MongoDB. Address books development. So in this next chapter lesson, we are going to uh, set up our machine or environment. For this, we will be required to install the, some of the binaries. The binaries are uh, we need to install uh, WebStorm, install Node.js install mongodb github and Heroku. for webstorm is a text editor uh, and it's a well-known text editor and uh, used by the professionals and it has uh, some of the great features and some of the great add-ins so it's a better uh, to use a uh, webstorm and it's a page but you can uh, you also uh, use for 30 day trial and Node.js is a server or MongoDB is a database NoSQL server. So let's, uh, without uh, without taking your much time, let's move into the WebStorm. To download the WebStorm, you have to navigate to the URL that mentioned in the PPT. And once you download the repository, you need to install in your system. Once you will install, you will be able to I have already installed and this is the way for this, this is a web strong so the project and structure this is a terminal window this is a to do task and much more features are available in the web strong I'm, I'm not going to give you the here uh, the overview of the web strong let's uh, quickly move into uh, the others uh, uh, software that we need to install uh, that we need to require so uh, the next software is node.js to install a node.js you need to go to the uh, node.js org and you need to download the repository it depend upon the uh, open system you are using or whether it's some windows or macintosh and, uh, and the type of the bits either 32 bit or 64 bit it's your requirement once it will it installed on your system next step you need to check whether it is installed properly or not i have already installed you just download it and these are all uh, okay okay let me check uh, so i have already download the software and all four software I have already downloaded and I will install one by one node.js I have already installed to so you have to check you have to enable the command prompt and check whether the installation are uh, properly or not so sorry cmd and you have to just write node the prompt will change it means installed properly you have to write for the function check so dot log you need to hello okay also you can do like create mm, text file yes Hello, yes, yes, you can write some code and it is going to quickly uh, open in this. saying there is console is undefined I think 
think I misspelled something. Right. So I'm going to correct it and navigate here. Press again. That's it. So it means the the uh, node is installed properly. So next step. Uh, is to install MongoDB. To install MongoDB, we first need to install. Go to the URL and mention in MongoDB.com download centers hash community. Once it installed, you need to do some of the tasks like you have to create two folders, one data and the log into the folder into that inside the MongoDB folder. So once you have add the fold add two folders over there, the data will um, go uh, will represent will install all your databases all your because the MongoDB is install the data into the file system. It's a concept of NoSQL database. And the log is uh, using you can uh, uh, specify the log files. A path the the so it is not installed your data at the the next step you need to add the bin path into the environment variable because your uh, uh, exe is not available for uh, uh, executables are not available for all the paths so for that you need to add into the environment variable so it will be available for whatever you can enter which any of the location you can in command prompt if you are in different look di directory you will able to access those binaries so that you need to install um, the data uh, sorry the bin path into environment once it done you need to start first you need to start the mongod process once the MongoD processes start, you can use the Mongo command prompt to check and enter the symbol command to test. So you require to first your process is up and running, running which is MongoD, and second your MongoD, Mongo, Mongo command prompt where you can actually write your code like in search like it's a ID where you. Uh, so it's a command prompt like there it has some of the command like create collection insert updation deletion so you can uh, write into the shell so once this is done then you can create because uh, you you don't want to start mongo date process again and again so it's better to put mongo db mongo db process in your uh, Windows service create one window service very easy Run, execute the mention below file mongod hyphen exe hyphen hyphen config you uh, the same as mentioned the above path mongod hyphen hyphen equal to d drive the path of the data and the log file you can also create one config file um, and in config file it will read all the parameter values from the config file I have provided providing provided you a config file example so once it will uh, done you need to just start mongodb so your server is up and running so i just quickly move into without taking your much time i just quickly go to the mongodb and will show you so uh, d drive mongodb this is the class i have created two file data and log so data is a collection of all the documents and the logs is for the logs file purposes okay so let's come into the if i'm uh, exit this if i'm going to enter mongo d mongo cannot connection field i will not able to connect because why because my server is not up and running so for that we need to run my server so what we need to do we need to use this command so 
now my mongodb process is running so next step i need to open another command prompt and i have to enter mongo now you able to connect to the database there are couple of command that you need to know first is show dbs is a list all of the dbs this block this is all the other dbs that i have created so let's go into the test database you need to use use test it switch to the test database then you have to write show collection it will display all the list of the collections data so i just db dot links dot find it will list out all the information so i just want to know the single so i will use top one so i will use db dot db dot links dot find one so i will get the top one so this is how you can write the commands in mongo shell if you want to know more about the mongo db uh, how you can write the commands you there are the free course available on the mongo side you can um, enroll yourself and to know about mongo db so next step i'm going to control x to exit this document and i'm going to move into the mongo db directory and i have already creating the mongo db mongo.config file i will show you also this is the ip address support number the path of your mongo db log file and this is some of the additional to set a pass to to the overwritten of the request of mongo db read write operation log log so there are the some of the only set for us if you do not really care about the data lot so this is some of the commands i had mentioned in the config file so for this i am not wanted to write again and again opening a mongo db process whenever i need to uh, inst uh, start my server again and again so for better to create a uh, window service for this i am mention this command this mongo d hyphen hyphen config and the path of the config and minus install once i enter uh, i forget uh, i forget one step i forget to add my pin path environment for you but right i have already in, uh, added so i'm just going to show you where you can add open the control panel under the system advanced settings there is a system mm, click to the environment variable and path edit at the end mm, i have already added if you check if you check let's see if you see i have already installed and this is d drive program file mongodb server 3.2 bin so i have already added the reference into the environment variable so you need not to be worry next step i am going to add um, mongo db server oh, sorry i will create one window service for that i need to write this command first i need to run my command prompt as administrator next step i have to paste this command press enter
check whether MongoDB install or not. Mm, I think it's not installed. I think there is some error. Mm, okay. I got it. The error and minus hyphen install I use inst hyphen hyphen install. Okay. Now I think we are done here. If you see here, MongoD star. So you can use SC start db it will start your service up and up now if you enter on go e you will perform your data like show dbs use test we are done here so what is required next so next is we have to install Heroku you can download the Heroku download from sorry instead of Heroku yeah Heroku on it next it get up so you can download the Heroku in site site this is the link of the Heroku you can download it from here once it in you have downloaded to verify you just need to enter check whether it is installed or not you will see yeah this is loading it's means that it installed property property in my system uh, next step I have to check whether the cut get has installed and have already installed it as well so this is the um, repository of the github so once you installed in your system you are able to perform a github like enter git you will see the list of the github commands available so i think uh, this is the end of the lesson 2 hope you like it so uh, we will meet next uh, on upcoming uh, lesson 3 thank you have a great day ahead